If you're looking for a cheap laptop, you've probably seen that many of them have something called eMMC storage. But that spec sheet typically doesn't do as good a job of explaining exactly what that is. So is it some extreme cost-cutting measure that you should avoid like the plague? Or can opting for eMMC actually be a good idea? Well, eMMC actually stands for Embedded Multimedia Card, which probably sounds like something you'd insert into a digital camera back when that was popular. And it turns out that that's actually kind of true. The original MMC came out back in 1997 and was indeed common in standalone digital cameras. MMC was later improved upon and had copy protection added, with the result being the more familiar SD card. But the original MMC standard stuck around. The eMMC storage in that laptop that you've been eyeballing is essentially an MMC version that's soldered directly onto the laptop's motherboard instead of being an actual card that you can eject. So it's kind of like a little built-in SSD. But why did lower-end laptops use eMMC instead of just putting in an actual SSD, considering how cheap and common SSDs have become? Well, even though SSDs are now standard in most laptops rather than the luxury they used to be, eMMC is still the cheaper option. The NAND flash memory that actually stores the data inside eMMC doesn't have the same longevity as what you'd find inside of a proper SSD. That is to say, it wears out faster due to simpler firmware and lower quality hardware. eMMC also doesn't tend to give you as much storage capacity, as many laptops that include it only have 32 or 64 gigabytes for you to work with, which isn't a lot for Windows 11. But are the drawbacks of eMMC so severe that we recommend staying away from it entirely? We'll tell you right after we thank Jackery for sponsoring today's video. Their Solar Generator 1000 Pro is their fastest solar and wall recharging generator and boasts three times faster charging than the normal SG1000. It consists of a Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro portable power station and 80 watt solar panels. Plug it into the wall and get a full charge in under two hours and deliver up to 100 watts of power thanks to the two 100 watt power delivery ports. Check out the new Jackery Solar Generator 1000 Pro at the link below. The thing to remember about eMMC is that even though it isn't the same as a SATA or NVMe SSD, it's still solid state storage that's going to give you many of the same benefits. Because of its cost effectiveness, laptop manufacturers have been able to replace those painfully slow mechanical hard drives you used to find in budget models with eMMCs. And make no mistake, although these low-end laptops still come with slimmed down processors and limited amounts of RAM, those spinning hard drives were the biggest bottleneck in such systems just a few years ago. So swapping those out with eMMC removes this bottleneck without breaking the bank. From that perspective, eMMC storage is an absolute win. But eMMCs top out at around 400 megabytes per second of sequential read speeds, with some implementations being well below that, meaning they'll be significantly slower for large file transfers than even a cheap SATA SSD. But more importantly, random reads, which is a more relevant stat for day-to-day -day use, will also be around half of what you get with an SSD, or even a bit lower. However, here's the thing to remember. Unless you're really trying to put a cheap system through its paces, it shouldn't end up mattering too much. Laptops with eMMC are meant for more, you know, watching YouTube, typing reports, wasting time on social media, those kinds of use cases that won't tax the PC all that much. Trying to do anything heavy like gaming, streaming, or content creation will probably push the system's other components well beyond their limits as well. So for a cheap laptop, eMMC makes a lot of sense, as you wouldn't be buying it for demanding applications anyway, nor would you be hitting it so hard that it would quickly wear out. But Anthony, what about the base model Steam Deck? That thing is meant for gaming and it has eMMC. Well, eMMC is mostly going to slow down your load times in those games on the Steam Deck, but shouldn't affect actual game performance too much once you get in. Sometimes just having a bit more patience can save you a significant amount of money. I can't even tell you how much money I've wasted on express food delivery just so I can get my chicken poppers before halftime ends. Well, I don't watch sports, but still the same thing. Thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out some of our other videos, comment with video suggestions down below, and don't forget to subscribe and follow.